Guys, I need your help. Subscribers especially. Uh, you, now, you know, we all like certain types of games more than others. Like, I'm not too... F you know, I don't like first-person shooters that much. Like, I didn't buy I didn't buy Modern Warfare 1 or 2. Uh, I make some exceptions, though. Like, I like Halo pretty much, and I like Killzone 2 a whole lot. So, I mean, I make exceptions. But my favorite types of games... Um, stealth action, which I know is not a very wide genre. But that basically includes uh, Splinter Cell, Metal Gear, and Assassin's Creed. Those are some really good games for me. And I also like role-playing games. Like, my first role-playing game was Kingdom Hearts. From Squaresoft. And, I mean, Kingdom Hearts, to me, is like Final Fantasy VII to a lot of other people. It's the first RPG you play, you really don't forget it. And it's a really amazing game that you uh, remember for a long time. But, you know, for first-person shooters, I'm good for role-playing games. I download Final Fantasy VII. I've got Fallout 3. I'm good for that. There is one type of game, though, that I've really liked for, oh, about, see, it's 2009 now, so that would have been about five years ago I first started playing it. And, uh, this type of game, and this game especially, uh, really helped me make a transition from being a more casual gamer to more hardcore gamer. Alright, the game I'm talking about is the legendary PlayStation 2 exclusive. Greatest Hits game, Ace Combat 04. Now, I... I know it's weird for a console gamer, but I really like flying games and, like, fighter jet games, I guess you could say. Like, air combat games, I guess. Like, I even downloaded, like, the Red Baron Arcade, and that game got some terrible review scores. And I like flying games so much, I actually still enjoyed the Red Baron Arcade. And that game got like a 5 out of 10 from IGN or something. I don't remember exactly what it got, but it was bad. And, frankly, I mean, I still I still enjoyed it. Although, maybe that's because I was expecting an arcade game, whereas IGN was expecting the Red Baron PC on a console. Which just didn't happen. Uh, this gen, really, the only full-fledged, because the Red Baron Arcade's downloadable, the only full-fledged, uh, flight sim game that I got to play was Blazing Angels 2, which sucks so badly I didn't enjoy it. I mean, I barely enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a tiny bit. But really, I need a flight sim game. This is seriously the last decent flying game I played. And it's the first decent one that I played, too. And that's that's not good. Now, I know for consoles, there aren't a whole lot. Uh, the consoles that I own, and frankly, I, I don't even really care. I would prefer PlayStation 3. But I also have games as far back. I have the NES still, which, uh, frankly, I don't know where to get NES games except online. I have a Dreamcast. And my PlayStation 3 is backwards compatible with PS2 and PS1. For, like, completely. So, you know, if you have, if you know good flying games for any of those consoles, please leave them in the comments. This video is purely to express how much I like flying games. This is one of my favorite games of all time. In fact, a lot of other people really loved it too. You can go on YouTube, which you're already on, and just search Ace Combat 04 and you can find a ton of videos. Basically, if you know games, especially PlayStation 3 flying games, that's what I'd prefer. I just please tell me what they are in the comments below. Uh, if you can't help me, uh, thank you for watching. If you hear about anything, let me know. And thank you all very much, because I'm really looking forward to playing some flying games, which I haven't had a chance to do in a really long time.